If there's one image we all have of Donald Trump's campaign, it's the media blitz, the television blitz, appearing on th two, three, four Sunday shows on the same day, calling into the morning shows, popping up on all the cable news networks, morning, noon, and night. Well, that has changed, and it's changed rather dramatically, in part because Trump has wanted to change, but also because there is a strong faction, an increasingly influential faction, within his campaign, my sources say, that want to limit his television exposure, that are worried, that is worried that uh, it is too risky for him to be constantly giving interviews, that he may may make mistakes, that he may wander off message, that he may uh, prolong distractions rather than keeping the focus on Hillary Clinton or uh, bringing jobs back or bad trade deals or whatever it is the campaign wants to emphasize at that moment. And so we did some research and found that if you look at the last several weeks, uh, Trump has done numerous appearances on Fox News and Fox Business. He's appeared pretty regularly with Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, Fox and Friends. But Trump hasn't appeared at all in recent weeks on CNN. He hasn't appeared at all in recent weeks on MSNBC, including Morning Joe, where he used to be a regular, but where he's now quite angry with Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. And he hasn't been on any of the Sunday shows for weeks, sometimes for a couple of months, uh, staying away from that venue. And when you add that all up, other than a couple of stray interviews where uh, network reporters might grab him for a few questions on the trail, that is a drastically reduced television presence. And sometimes my sources are saying uh, that the, um, the staff is not even telling him about the television invitation. They're just turning some, down a bunch of them on his behalf. Trump used to vet every single television invite that came his campaign's way. And this speaks to a larger question about um, uh, who is exactly running the campaign day to day because we had this extraordinary spectacle when he gave a speech the other day in which he was like the Trump of old. He was riffing on, uh, on all kinds of targets and particularly he went after CNN, the Clinton News Network, he went after uh, MSNBC, he went after uh, Chuck Todd, the host of Meet the Press, Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd he calls him. Uh, but when he did that, he also talked about CNN's coverage of that so-called Star of David tweet, which was criticized as being an anti-Semitic message aimed at Hillary Clinton. Trump strongly denies that. Trump wanted that tweet to stay up. And his staff took it down, deleted it without telling him. So it's these kinds of behind-the-scenes battles that are shaping the Trump campaign and making Trump himself question who exactly is in charge of this campaign on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, by talking about it at this rally, he also revived the story that was not exactly favorable to him, that was looked like it might be fading. So we see the Trump campaign entering a new phase now, uh, more careful about media appearances, uh, more back and forth with the staff, which sometimes does things that Trump has not approved or does not agree with. Uh, and yet the inner Trump comes out when he uh, gives one of these rally speeches where he just sprays all the targets he wants to spray. That's not exactly how you would do it if you were telling him, hey, read the speech off the prompter and stick to topics A, B, and C. But I don't think you can really do that. Trump needs to... Um, Trump needs to be Trump in his view. He needs to be on the attack, picking fights, even when those fights prolong stories that are not favorable to him. So this is the new emerging image of the Donald Trump campaign, and that's why you are seeing him far less in television interviews.